wonder. Do you have the watercolor paints? Where are you? Over here, Mrs. McDermott. Were you talking to someone at the door? Oh, a nice young man. He says God loves me. Especially when I'm good. Of course God loves you. He wasn't a Bizerite, was he? Huh? His brochure just says that Reverend Faithful of Jesus is loving apocalypse. Yes, that's them. Reverend Bizarre Matheson founded that blasted group in Ypsilan II back in the 1930s. They haven't bothered us here on Muskrat Island for a while. What's wrong with the Bizerites? Are they dangerous? This island has had its fill of extremist preachers, especially after one preacher tried to violently set up a holy kingdom here back in the 19th century and got a lot of people killed. Well, he seemed pretty nice. You're sweet, Wanda. But you only came from Japan this spring, so let me talk to such strangers next time. Are you still going to your friends in Ypsilan 2 city on the mainland next week? Yes, for the August 1st party. There's a picnic, we'll run about doing games. And then sing and dance around a big campfire all night. Sounds lovely. Could you be a dear and deliver a packet of pecan pies to my nephew Freddy? He's a chaplain at the university. You can stay with his family for a few days. I'll set it all up for you. Okay, thanks. I'm going out for a jog. Reverend Bizarre, mark my sacred vow, your hooligans aren't going to cause trouble here, not on my island. Not in my district. Not on my watch. Dan, I suppose druids have different priorities nowadays. Sure, we really don't worry about nature in our society anymore, because most risks are mitigated through science and the economy. Thus modern druids have the luxury to debate ethereal topics and meta-theories. Not one in ten reformed druids can tell you when to plant the wheat, where to find a fresh spring, or how to locate a vein of iron ore. I try to keep folks real and tuned into the nature part of the basic tenets that they all claim to be interested in. But we are hopelessly estranged from her cycles. I admit I do love air conditioning in the summer and oranges in the winter. But I spent a lot of time out in the woods when I was young. It's why I chose my biology major. I like you, Peter. Why don't you join me before Lunasa Festival and help me gather the firewood? Sounds like work, right? Yes, but prep work is sometimes more fun than the event itself. I'll also show you where some of our grove sites are. And where the trees began dying in the spooky woods. What's Lunasa? Oh. That's the Summer Harvest Festival and Games. Don't you know the festivals yet? Then you need to talk to Thomas. But before that there's someone else you need to meet. Who's that? The Earth Mother. Go down that trail, over a few hills or so, left, right, across a field, right, and look for a really big oak tree can miss it, and say hello. I've got to get back to the bushwhacking. You know we reformed druids aren't just about trees anymore. Sounds wonderful. I'll be in touch. Are you guys all done yet? Yes. 
We'll pick up the wood tomorrow. No, you won't. Prepare to die. Cool, Mr. Jones. Where did you get the mask? Right. Let's go home. It's almost sunset. And the ghosts will be out here soon. Where's Zoe? We thought she was with you. She ran into the woods a while ago. Should we go find her? No, I'm afraid that if Zoe wants to hide in the woods, again, there's no way that we could ever locate her. I'm probably completely lost now. Should head back. All very pretty. Well, here I am. Looking for a tree in a forest. How hard can that be? Well, how about that one? What do I do with it? Hello. Mr. Tree. This is awkward. Hey you. What are you doing with my tree? What? Get your hands off Madeleine. She's my tree. With all the trees in this forest, why do you have to put your dirty paws on my tree? See that big yellow scarf tied up on that branch? That means she's mine. Got it. Excuse me, but who are you? I'm Kiki. I'm the witch of these woods. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Do you think you are funny? Yes. You're not. What were you doing out here? I could ask you the same question. I was visiting Dan Harrison and talking about druidism and he told me to go out and talk to a tree so you're answering the call of nature on my tree yes no not that way was i squeezing your tree too hard well since you know dan i let you off with a light warning this time nature boy now be helpful. I'm looking for my sister Zoe. Have you seen her? Zoe. Tall, blonde, quiet, wearing white. That's her? Oh, she was with Dan and the Arboretum crew. Just an hour ago. Cutting wood on the trails. Don't worry. Oh yes. What a relief. Is that where the foolish girl has been for the last two nights? In the haunted forest. With a bunch of sweaty grunting Neanderthals playing with chainsaws. Dodging the falling trees and operating heavy moving equipment. I'm so relieved. Not. Do you lose her often? She comes and goes as she pleases. She's a bit like a stray cat. Especially around the four major fire festivals. But I usually find her out here in the woods. Sometimes sleeping on the ground. I get worried about her. Of course. 
sorry about the tree. I'm new to all this tree hugging and nature stuff. Are there any other special rules to this forest? You are serious? Well, besides not attacking my trees, just read the trailhead signs. Use only designated fire pits. Stay away from the ancient Viking ruins and the many abandoned open mine shafts and the Lake of the Golden Temple. All of them are private property. And get home before the ghosts come out at night. All common sense. Ghosts. Bah humbug. Just stories. No, they are not stories. Stupid. I dodge them all the time looking for Zoe out here. Creepy, clumsy, quiet, slow, but easy enough to stay away from them. If you just keep alert. So why doesn't everyone else see them? Because 90% of the people don't have enough psychic lymph to fill a thimble. Because they wouldn't want to see them in the first place. And because you have to live in the town for at least three or four years to become sensitive to them. So most students and visiting reporters and parapsychologists can't perceive them. Oh, and people of low intelligence can't see them either. That's probably why you haven't seen them yet, ha ha. 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 Anything else I need to know about them? They seem more plentiful near the wilted trees. Come out at night time. And you probably don't want to touch them. What happens if you do? You don't follow the news at all, do you? You lend up like Mr. Williams, two years ago, totally paralyzed. Or quite insane. Like Samantha Heisman last spring. Or far worse. Well, I'm thinking of doing a little scientific study of this wood blight. Couldn't those tabloid ghost cases also be explained by medical science? Perhaps something in the water. Drugs, maybe. Listen, they can be explained by real ghosts, too. If you're such an avid scientist, by all means, go stay out all night and be a guinea pig, and then tell me about it tomorrow. I'll bring you a different kind of white coat, one that is nice and snug with long sleeves and nice shiny buckles. Now, I want to find Zoe before they find her. It's almost dark. What's that noise? I'm home. Yes, you are. So are you going to give me the surprise news now? I wanted to tell everybody together. Tell me first, the kids are away visiting friends this evening. You mean... Where we are moving for my promotion? Yes, spit it out. Where is it? Boston, New York, Chicago, LA? New Delhi. What? Surprised? <laughs>